Will expensive helmets provide you with better protection? Maybe. Can cheap helmets still provide good protection? In many cases, yes. A few decades ago, Bell ran a very successful ad campaign. If you have a $10 head, wear a $10 helmet. It became so popular that many riders now see it as an unwritten rule for buying new helmets. And recently Bell said, this is a model that Bell has believed in for decades that still rings true to this day. Well, this is interesting as Bell now makes all the helmets in China and they have quite a few budget options. Food for thought, especially when viewers have been sending in photos of their heavily rusted Bell helmets. As a rule of thumb, you do get a better quality helmet as you spend more money. It may be better ventilated, more comfort, the resins, adhesives, cheek pads and inner liner may last longer. There could be replacement cheek pads and inner liners to extend the lifespan of the helmet. And it could be quieter and lighter. The big question, is a more expensive helmet safer? We do know that even cheap helmets provide good protection if they comply with a decent helmet standard. If your helmet complies with ECE, FIM or Snell, you will have quite good protection, even at a budget price. We don't include DOT here because so many DOT helmets have failed independent testing. Pause to read. I discussed this issue with our leading helmet specialists in Australia. They were involved in helping a Southeast Asian country develop affordable helmets for families in poverty. The result? Helmets between $20 to $30 that were actually very close to the international standards. They agreed that a cheap helmet complying with a decent standard will protect your head well. What do independent tests say? Sharp is a British test of road helmets that found a small correlation between price and protection. But there was a lot of variation and sometimes the cheap helmets had better protection, at least with their criteria. Another independent test in Australia assessed dirt bike helmets and in some cases cheap Chinese made brands were matching the Japanese made Shoei which cost four times more. Again, though, there is a rough correlation between price and protection. But it looks as though you can get good protection at a budget price if you do your research. What if you want more than the basic protection ensured by helmet standards? What should you look for? Arguably the biggest advance in recent years is the variable density liner. The foam is designed to absorb not only life-threatening impacts, but also milder ones that can still cause a brain injury. But interestingly, even quite cheap helmets often have this feature now. Next is protection from rotational impacts. Sudden rotation of the head can also cause brain injuries. So some helmets now include safety features that hopefully reduce this. Again, it's now appearing on quite a few cheaper helmets. Some manufacturers are focusing on proper padding for the chin bar to protect your teeth and jaw during a front-on impact. Removable cheek pads can make helmet removal easier by paramedics. And arguably, anything that lessens fatigue can lead to greater safety. That's good ventilation in summer, a lightweight design, less wind noise. So how much extra protection can be gained by variable density liners and innovations that reduce rotational injuries? We can't be sure. To date, the manufacturers are leading the way with these innovations and they come up with their own tests for promotional purposes. It would be good to see independent tests by specialists in the future to see how much difference they are really making. One thing is for sure, there is plenty of bullshit with helmet marketing. A common trick is pretending an outer shell made from Kevlar or carbon fibre is a big thing. Sure, it might be a bit lighter, but there's nothing wrong with the traditional polycarbonate shell. Don't fall for the media hype.
Our new underlid, an inner liner soaked in the urine of Valentino Rossi and Ricky Carmichael, a magical outer shell made of Kevlar carbon fiber and jelly beans, and hand assembled by child labor in Xinjiang province. Yours for only $2,995. A bit of common sense goes a long way. And always remember, the most important thing is a good, snug fit. If your $5,000 helmet can get pulled off your head in a big accident, it's not going to help at all.